Hi, and welcome to another Haltech Technically Speaking. Today, we're going to be taking a look at when, why, and how you should be changing from this to this while using this as the demo car. Now, don't get me wrong, the Platinum Pro plugin is a tried and tested ECU. It's a fantastic thing. It does six cylinder sequential injection, direct fire ignition, it does flex fuel. It's got enough outputs to do stuff like your boost control, thermofan, uh, air conditioning. It's got generic outputs that can be used to control extra fuel pumps and stuff like that. But it is based on our Platinum series. So it is over 10 years old now and the Elite series does have a whole lot more to offer. So if you've got a GDR making 300, 400 kilowatts with a bolt-on turbocharger, uh, a built motor, set of camshafts, absolutely no problem. And this thing is a fantastic unit for that purpose. But when you go to a ginormous turbocharger, huge set of injectors, plan on moving to electronic throttle, you've got a sequential gearbox that you want downshift throttle blipping, well, it's time to step up to the Elite Series. Firstly, the plug and play adaptability. The Pro plug-in series only plugs into this one specific model, whereas on the Elite plug and play adapter harness, you can actually swap out these adapter harnesses so that you can take your ECU with you to the next car, or you can swap your ECU between your cars. Drive-by-wire throttle control? Well, on the Platinum Pro series, only if it was a car that already had drive-by-wire, like a 350Z. Whereas on the Elite series, you can update to a drive-by-wire throttle from a cable whenever you want. Long-term learning, on the Pro plug-in series, very, very basic on the fuel. On the Elite series, up to 4D advanced long-term learning for the idle control, the boost control, the fueling, the ignition timing, anything that's got a closed loop target. 3D mappable injector dead time and flow rate and short pulse width adder mapped against manifold pressure, fuel pressure or battery voltage or a combination of whatever you like. On the Platinum Pro plug-in, no. On the Elite Series, absolutely. Sequential gearbox control with flat shift and auto throttle blip on downshift. On the Platinum Pro plug-in series, we did a basic flat shift strategy. Whereas on the Elite Series, we offer all of this. And it's actually one of the reasons why these guys have decided to go to the Elite Series for this particular car. Onboard data logging. The Platinum Pro Series has around half a meg of onboard data logging while the Elite 1500 and 2500 series have eight megabytes of onboard data logging. Engine protection strategies. The Platinum Pro series has a single level engine protection, whereas the Elite series has an advanced three level engine protection strategy, allowing you to choose what happens to the engine depending on the severity of the condition. So air temp or coolant temp will be a lighter style of protection, whereas if you drop oil pressure, for example, we might decide to turn the engine off. Internal map sensor. On the Platinum Pro range, went up to 22 PSI of boost pressure, whereas on the Elite Series, 30 pounds of boost pressure. A race timer function that allows you to map your fueling, ignition, your boost control, whatever you want, versus the time since you started the race. The Platinum Pro Series, no. On the Elite Series, absolutely. Rolling anti-lag, the Pro didn't get it, the Elite Series does. Traction control. The Pro Series didn't get it. The Elite 2500 Series does a full advanced individual wheel speed traction control. There's obviously a ton more differences between the Elite Series and the Platinum Pro plug-in. The ones I've gone over are specific to this car and the reason why we're gonna be doing the upgrade to this one. Next, we're onto the how. Because this car's got a factory wiring harness, I'm into the passenger side footwell in our Australian model car. We've got this blue electrical connector. It's got a 10 millimeter nut in the backside here that we unscrew, the harness unplugs, and we end up with just our harness connector. From there, with a pro plug-in, it's as simple as we plug the thing in, we go online and we start configuring. We've then got the option of setting up the internal 22 pound map sensor, and we've got the option of setting up the auxiliary inputs and outputs. The Pro Series ECU has got four inputs, four outputs. It's got a CAN connector to be able to add any of the CAN devices like a wideband controller or a dash or a, an extra input output expander. And it's got the USB port so that we can program the thing. Once we've plugged it in, we set it up, start the car, it starts, it runs, and we're ready to tune. 
Moving across to the Elite Series ECU, we do things just a little bit differently. We still use the factory harness because it's a factory plug-in. It plugs into this adapter box. This then converts into the Haltech adapter harness that allows us to fit whichever style ECU we want. In this case, it's an Elite 2500 series. In this particular case, the guys have added extra Deutsch connectors here as breakout style connectors to suit all the inputs and outputs for this particular car. And this is where the Elite Series patch harness comes into its own because you can make all these adaptations to suit your specific car while retaining your factory wiring harness, which are often in pretty good condition. So if we take a look at this one, we've got a bunch of breakout harnesses. This one's labeled drive-by wire. So it's got the inputs and outputs that are gonna be required when this car finally gets converted over to full drive-by wire. We've got this connector labeled gear load cell. So I know that we've got our gear position signal as well as our load cell signal coming into the Elite Series ECU through this auxiliary connector. Our next one across here, spare, a bunch of spare inputs and outputs for any future development. We've got our CAN bus connector. So that goes out and that's connected to our CAN based wideband controller as well as our CAN based dash so that everything can communicate together. And lastly, we've got our auxiliary connector. This is the one that's got things like our oil pressure sensor, our fuel pressure sensor, our external manifold pressure sensor, because in this particular application, we're not using the internal 30 PSI sensor. The car's gonna run more boost than that. So it's got an external 45 pound sensor that's wired into the auxiliary connector. So we've also got things like our flex fuel sensor that gives us our ethanol content as well as the ethanol temperature. Basically, all the inputs to the Haltech ECU that aren't coming in through the factory harness that we actually want. So in some makes and some models of cars, they might have had a oil pressure sensor or a fuel pressure sensor or flex fuel coming in through the factory connector. In this car, we're limited because a lot of those things just didn't exist at the time this factory harness was being made. So we put them all in through the auxiliary connector. That way we can do our engine protection, our data logging and a lot of our data acquisition using these sensors. So there you have it. We've got a few of the differences between the Platinum Pro Series and the Elite 2500 Series patch harness kit. You can see that with the patch harness, things can be so much more modular. So when we're adding individual components, they can be wired off into their separate areas. They're super easy to diagnose, super easy to set up, and even easier to set up in the ESP Elite Series software. Normally this is where a video like this would end, but RB26 powered R32 GDR with a sequential gearbox so close to practically on the dyno. I better grab Mitch, I'll get him to set up some of the IO, punch some numbers into this thing and at least be able to run it up just before we send it back to the Motive guys so they can continue on with their development. As always, thanks very much for watching. My name's Scott, see you next time. <laughs>